applicant from Chico, California, Mitchell McLaughlin. Alright, so that was obviously staged and that that's not the way I found out I got into Western States. Um, I'm kind of still in shock. Uh, when I ran the Kuyamaka 100K, I thought honestly what I was doing was planning ahead. I thought, um, you know, it'll help me in the future in the next two or three years when I finally have enough tickets that it's possible I'll be selected. Uh, but yesterday, on lottery day, I had one ticket in the lottery and there were over 15,000 tickets in the lottery. They selected 269 um, out of 15,000 tickets and I had one ticket. There were 2,658 people in the lottery that only had one ticket and they only selected 52 of those people and somehow I got lucky enough to be one of those 52. I can't quite believe it, honestly. Um, even though I've been doing things to get myself into Western States, it's always felt like kind of a, a pipe dream, sort of. And winning Western States still kind of is far off. But even just running the race seemed like something that would be years before I'd be able to do. And when I found out that it was actually going to happen this June, next June, I couldn't believe it. I spent the rest of the day, it felt like I was gonna wake up and and it was all gonna be a dream. Um, but here we are. Uh, I have to do my eight hours of mandatory volunteer service still, um, but other than that, I'm, I'm in the race. And that's an unbelievable thing. It no longer seems like something that's so far off. I've gotten a qualifier and I'm now in the race. And frankly, the thought of running down Forest Hill Road where I've been spectating the last two years with a bib on my shirt is kind of gives me goosebumps and makes me feel a little bit emotional. So this next video that I'm gonna show is the true leading up to the lottery, the events that happen leading up to the lottery. Um, as you'll see, I actually wasn't watching the, the broadcast. Uh, I was on a backpacking trip um, and I was planning on checking it as soon as I got back. And once again, the odds of getting selected were one in 50 for myself. So I, I couldn't imagine in the slightest being selected. I was prepared to come back and check and find that I'd have to go another year, at least another year, if not three years or four years or five years, but I'm in the race now. And there's something I've always wanted to say and I've always been tempted to attach to my social media, uh, but I haven't done it because I've been saving it for um, this moment exactly and I didn't think it would come this soon. Uh, but I can't believe I get to say it. Um, so once again, this video is gonna be the leading up to the point where I found out I was into the race. Um, other than that, thanks for following along. Um, and uh, it's gonna get very specific training for Western States now. So I'll see you in Squaw. Well, I'm up here at Hezecita. Uh It's only eight o'clock, so I got up quite early for this. Uh, I'm gonna do like a, a medium long run, maybe. I'm actually signed up for a 50K next weekend. Uh, so that'll be interesting. I'm, I think I'm, I'm good for it. I think it'll be a good tune up for Sean O'Brien. Uh, longest long run I've done since Kuyamaka 100K was only 17 miles. So it'll definitely be a little bit of a stretch, but um, I'm gonna try and make it happen. So uh, today we're just doing kind of like a two, two and a half hour run and um, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Hopefully no one sees me do this. This is embarrassing. All right, I'm gonna head up uh, into the mountains. Just climbing along. I already stopped like five times to adjust my pack and use the bathroom, but we're on trail now. Going uphill.
about an hour now. Getting a clip bar. It's beautiful. Time to head back. All right, done. That was about an hour and 51 minutes and about nine and a half miles. Um, yeah, these, uh, these trails are really steep. For sure pretty hard um, so I'm gonna head back and I've got some school stuff I've got to do and I'm actually gonna go backpacking tonight uh, so I'll definitely take the camera along with me for that and uh, so I've got to go kind of buy some snacks all right so tonight headed uh, do a little backpacking in Los Padres National Forest and uh, this is the food I'm gonna take it's only one night and part of a day so I'm taking couple lar bars these are my keys not eating those I got some fruit leather got like some fig bars like fig Newton esque things and uh, there's another lar bar fruits and greens and Probably take some trail mix as well, but I think that's about it. All right, we are at 3,800 feet. Yeah. It's so cool. I'm gonna camp Just wait till tomorrow morning here. Yeah, I need to get scratched up. We had our first casualty. Spiking <laughs> down. Ah! Ooh. 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 We are done. Camped up there. The final, the final two stragglers. Oh man. And uh, that was fun.